Lord to Jesus. Lord to God. We greet everyone the peace of the Lord Jesus. We're going to open up our Bibles in the Old Testament. Jeremiah. We're going to read two verses. Jeremiah. Prophet Jeremiah. The first is in chapter 8. And then we're going to read chapter 46, verse 11. 8.22. And then 46, Jeremiah 46. Eight twenty two says the following Is there no blame in Gilead. And there is, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no recovery for the health of the daughter of my people? Now, 46.11 says, Go up to Gilead and take balm. O virgin, the daughter of Egypt, in vain you will use many medi medicines. You shall not be cured. Lord, we praise you for this moment in which we have a complete fellowship with you. And we ask, Lord, that you may visit us, visit our minds and hearts, and heal us, Lord, from each one of our infirmities. We plead your blessing and we pray to you in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. The brethren may sit down. The word of the Lord tells us regarding of a bomb. And this bomb was known as the bomb of Gilead or the bomb of Gilead. It was a resin that was extracted from a plant that only existed and I believe that only exists still in that region. A region that was high uh, there's a m m region in mountains and difficult access and also was a region uh, very famous. It was very famous because of this special bomb. Because this medication which was produced there by those plants. And people came from many other nations to seek this special bomb so that they could be healed by their wounds and this plant it it would give would donate when you remove the bomb from the plant the plant was harmed was uh, sometimes the plant would even die and the liquid that came from uh, wounded the plant that was used as the bomb this is like the life of the plant so the plant would donate its life in order for us to be healed and the place was of difficult access. So Gideon, when he went out to battle against the Midianites, when he arrived to this region, he said, who is afraid can go back. And the word says that from then, that day, 
22,000 went back home. There were there was a bunch of scared people there. Nobody wanted to go up the mountains there, the mountains of Gilead. But then we'll see later on that with the valiants that remained and Gideon, the victory was achieved and the name of the Lord was glorified. So this place is a place very well known and famous place. And there are many people that are not able to reach that place. There were the merchants that would go to that place and then would sell this bomb for a very high price in other regions. And the text that we read here, the Lord uses the prophet and the prophet asks a question. And the question the prophet was asking for the part of the Lord it was for the Israelites, it was for the children of Israel, it was for the people of God. Because the people of God on those days, when there was a necessity, when there was an infirmity, a sickness, they would not go seek the balm of Gilead in order to, for them to be healed. They would go to other parts and to other regions or, and even to other countries seeking a medication for them to be healed searching for a solution to the problem that they were going through and there in Gilead the Bible s says and it's written there that there was this bomb and there was a, a doctor but the same word says that the people on those days deviated. There was an apostasy. It was continuous apostasy. They were leaving the bomb at Gilead. They were leaving the doctor at Gilead. They were giving them behind in order to search for solutions in other medication and in other doctors. And the Lord saw and was not pleased with it because all the resource for the people of God the Lord made available in the land of Israel and every healing for the infirmity was already there in the bomb on Gilead and we see that the project of God has always been complete the Bible says that we cannot remove or add anything to the word of the Lord so when the Lord called his people to be his people when he called the sheep to be his sheep he provided to his people to his sheep all things and it was not necessary for the people to seek resources somewhere else because everything that had already been provided for God's people for their children and we see this very well when they were in this transition from Egypt to the Promised Land, 40 years. Were they lacking anything during those 40 years? They didn't lack anything. Why? Because the Lord was present, taking care of His people. And now God placed people in a good land, a spacious land, a land that flows honey and milk, the land has a bomb of Gilead that heals any infirmity and that has a doctor that knows our necessities all the necessities of the people of Israel and the people was seeking the healing in another place and the Lord says this is apostasy here going straight from the faith and apostasy is uh, going astray from the faith and s stopping believing in the God that conclaimed them, them the God that made them their children and sheep of their uh, his pasture so then the Lord says the following I'm upset by the wound of the daughter of my people 
Well, oh, some a person is sad. A person is sensitive. When someone is upset, they cry even easily. They easily cry. So then there was a, a manifestation of the love of God, the grace of God, of the mercy of God. In Jeremiah, he says, I'm upset. Jeremiah was known as the crying prophet. He cried a lot. It was not that he was crying a lot. It was because he loved too much. And he saw the situation of a people that he loved. It was his people, was the people of God. They were leaving the Lord. They were turning their back to the balm of Gilead. God was upset because of the wound of the daughter of my people. A walk wearing um, wake clothing. When do we wear dark clothing? When a family member dies, when a family member passed away. Not today as much, but in the past, there were people who didn't even cut their hair or shave their beards for an entire year. A few regions, even in Brazil, they, they're still doing this. They wear black for an entire year. When they pass by, people are saying that they are m these people are mourning because one of their relatives died. So then, everyone saw that the situation that the people was living was a situation that would guide, uh, lead them to death. But God comes to the people and said, Isn't there in Gilead a bomb? Why do you want to die? Didn't I give you the resource in order for you to be saved? Do you want to remain sick? If God has already made available resource to heal you, is it possible that there is no bomb in Gilead? Isn't it? There, isn't there a doctor in Gilead and a good one? There was a woman. The Bible says she perished because of an infirmity for 18 years. 18 years, if I remember correctly, she spent everything she owned. No, no, the the woman with flow of blood. 38 years, 12 years. Oh boy, <laughs> that's confusing here. <laughs> I don't remember clearly. My age is preventing me from remembering clearly. The son of Jad at 18 years. 38 is the well of Bethesda. This woman had, if I believe, she had 18 years there. But well, amen, if it's not it, you forgive me. The Bible says that this woman, she, she spent everything she owned. When she no longer have anything left, so then she sought the doctor of doctors. Twelve years, oh, okay, twelve years. She went and sought the doctor of doctors. When she had nothing else left, she received from the doctor of doctors the portion, the balm, the medication that healed her from every infirmity that, that she had. Glory to God. But she could have done this earlier, right? And sometimes, man only seeks to go to the mountain of Gilead. Man sometimes only seek the doctor of Gilead and only six, the bomb that only exists in Gilead, when all their uh, man's resources are uh, over. And now the prophet is saying to the entire people of Israel, is it possible that there is no bomb in Gilead? Is it possible that 
Isn't there a doctor in Gedad? Because how come the daughter of my people was not healed? So then God is speaking of a daughter who was sick, speaks of a daughter that needed a doctor of Gilead, a daughter that needed the bomb that only exists in Gilead. And it says she was not healed. Why was she not healed yet? Because she didn't seek the doctor of Gilead and also because she didn't seek the balm of Gilead. But the word says, my brethren, in the next chapter, chapter and verse, it says, Go up, my brother and sister, go up. The Bible says that the path that leads to life is the direction is upward. I'm going to use a strong word here in order f for you to um, deviate from the hell that is underneath. And the word, go up. Go up. Go up to Gilead and seek the presence of the Lord. Go up to Gilead and take balm. It's not enough for you to go up to Gilead. Gilead represents today for us in this exact moment and time represent this place in which we are gathered here. Many times the person stays there suffering, suffering, suffering. And the person knows where they can find cure. The, the person may know that there is a doctor who is a specialist. There is a song that is called Specialist in Heart. Make transplant plant be equal. A doctor who is a specialist. And he is a speciali specialist in every speciality. Go up to Gilead and take balm. Uh, the, and the place there are plenty of, um, of medication. Isn't that cure for you? Sometimes people have to be realize one thing, that there are sicknesses that have no cure. There is no medication to heal some types of infirmity. And the infirmity here was the infirmity of the soul. It was infirmity of going astray from the Lord. That, that was the infirmity. And they were seeking resources, they were seeking medication. And there was no medication for it. Because there is no medication for this type of infirmity. Unless in other places other than Gilead. In other place other than in the presence of the Lord. In other place other than the doctor of doctor. Or the specialist doctor. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Him every infirmity, physical and spiritual can be healed. It's only he has the bomb. Because he was wounded by our transgressions. He was afflicted of God and he was oppressed. The punishment that brings us peace was upon him. Like a tree that was wounded and sometimes even died in order to uh, produce its life and give it uh, its life to us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did this for you, for me, for each one of us. He gave his life away. And in his blood, we are delivered of every one of our sins. And his blood, he purchased you, he purchased me, each one of us. 
in order for us to be his people, like I said in the beginning, and sheep of his flock. So now I'm going to give a, an advice to you, my brother and sister, you who are here with us, especially my daughter. Daughter, go up to Gilead. The Lord has shown a woman, a person who is with us, it's really uh, very wounded and tries to hide what goes on in her mind, her soul, in her heart. But tonight, she heard a voice. It was so that she could come up, so that she could be here in Gilead. And the Lord Jesus had already revealed that tonight, during the moment of the plea, He was already healing this woman of all of her infirmities. Come up to Gilead. Take up the balm. My brother and sister, you have already come up to the house of the Lord. You have come up to Gilead. You're already in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Holy Spirit of God. Take, take up the bomb. Whatever is your necessity, take up the bomb. Whatever is your infirmity, take up the bomb. Whatever is what you may have done, that you may have think and there is no solution to, take up the bomb. Because Jesus is our medication. Jesus is the solution. Because Jesus donated his entire his his whole life for you. Come up to Gilead. Take up the bomb. Because he could have thought there is no cure for me. But in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the doctor of Gilead. And with the balm of Gilead, which is the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord will cure you of every one of your infirmities. Amen? Let us sing a song.
to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I invite the brethren to stand up. We're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. I want to praise your name. We're thankful to you because you are the doctor of doctors. Because you calm down our afflictions. Take care of our soul. We are happy, Lord. Because we are called your children, Lord. We praise your name. For a great power. For a hand laying upon your church. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Holy, holy is the name of the Lord. But Father, we are, the, we are placing this service into your altar. This is a way of telling you, Lord, that we are thankful to you. 
we know that we want to praise you because we are you we know that you are in this place for the visitation of your spirit upon our hearts and we ask Lord that you may send us home and that we may have a, a week in your presence and the peace of the Lord may reign in our hearts and that we may by faith see the ministration of your spirit in our behalf in our families at work operating in our health opening up the doors so that your name may be may continue to be praised receive our adoration is it the prayer that we say in the name of Jesus in your name we say that the wonderful grace of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God our eternal Father the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be poured out upon us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be may sit down. My brother, this month we need to pray for the youth. Today, this is the month of the youth so that God may bless them, protect them from any influence of evil, any teaching that is goes against the project of God so they have been a target of our prayer this morning we had a moment a special moment with wonderful teachings from the part of the Lord revel wonderful revelation that spoke deeply to our hearts and this week is going to also be a week of blessing we're going to have Sunday morning at 10 in the morning we have a meeting we have a meeting with the children and adolescents intermediary and the children the invitations are there already at your disposal so I pray that the brethren may ask the brethren to pray for this event and the whole church is invited including every moment of celebration we as a church we need to be here present as in true our children, we have to honor them. For us, it's a great privilege. It's an honor to see our children in the presence of the Lord, evangelizing, hearing the Word of God. And we need to be here to honor them. They will be inviting their friends, the teachers, and family and friends. And the church at this moment needs to be present. Every celebration of the church, we need to be here present in weddings, birthdays, because this is our family. This is our family. To us, it's an honor. It's a great joy when we see our children getting married in the presence of the Lord, our children being promoted in classes, baptizing. We're going to have a baptism next month. Several youth are going to be baptized. So we need to be praying for all those topics. I ask the brother to remember this. And by revelation of the Lord, we're going to have uh, a holy uh, supper of the Lord this coming Thursday. So get ready. Get ready, not only humanly speaking, getting ready with your work, s setting aside this time to be in the presence of the Lord, but also getting ready spiritually. Because the Supper of the Lord is a serious moment. Um, a private moment with you and the Lord. The Bible says, examine man himself and then eat and drink. This is the instruction. And we have from today to Thursday for you to place your life in the altar of the Lord. So that you may um, place in the presence of the Lord everything that is breaking your fellowship. In preventing you from walking in the presence of the Lord and come here and participate on, on the supper of the Lord because supper of the Lord is a blessing is a spiritual health those that participate on the supper of the Lord the Lord renew their strength the Lord operate spiritual health the church needs this it, this is one of the celebration of the church baptism and supper of the Lord so I ask that the church may be praying for this amen anything else and so I uh, say the peace of the Lord to everyone. If you desire prayer, we, are he we place ourselves at your disposal.